drop it like it's Scott. Today, we are in the Frogland. Can you hear it? They're singing to me. Oh, I love it. I love it when frogs sing my praises. Yes. Anyway, hey, just wanted to get with you guys today to let you know I have a new gun to shoot for you today. This is the Kimber 1911. Chambered in 45 ACP. Let's make sure first, make sure we're clear. We're going to make sure we are clear. There is nothing in there. Magazine is empty. And we are clear. Things I want to tell you about this gun. This gun is awesome. I fired it over the weekend. And boy, is it accurate. Oh my goodness. I want to tell you a couple little things about it before we get to shooting it. All right. And I've got some stuff set up over there. Like I mentioned in the last video. I'll give you some water balloons and today I'm delivering on my promise I got some water balloons but I've also got something else that's really cool sitting up over there and I want you guys to see it you were the first people to see it all right anyway the legendary LAPD their SWAT team they tested five different 1911s and they came back and they chose the Kimber United States Marines special operations commanders they choose the 1911 there's a reason why so many people in law enforcement and military go for the 1911 because it is dependable, it's reliable, it's accurate, and it's just awesome. Look at that. That is awesome. Closer? Yes. It's awesome. Very cool. But one thing I want to do for you today is I want to make sure that all the statistics and these frogs that are screaming my name, I want to get with you and I want to see if all these things that people say about this gun are correct. How accurate is it? How reliable is it? We're going to find out. Fiber optic front sights, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it from that side. Nope, you can't see it from this side. Let's go over here to here. The fiber optic front sights on the front of the gun. I'm not going to point it at myself. That would just be lunacy. It has fiber optic front sight for fast sight picture acquisition. That way, when you're firing it, you come up, you put that sight in there, bang, bang, bang. You can line that right back up and get, get going again. It weighs about 42 ounces unloaded, but with it with full magazine in there, it weighs, I think it's probably about 67, 68 ounces. The length from the tip of the barrel to the back of the beaver tail is about nine and a half inches. I think actually, if I'm correct, I think it's 9.7. I think I measured it the other day. From here to here is 9.7 inches. The recoil spring pound is 18 and a half pounds of pressure. It has a beaver tip on the beaver tail on the back. It also has a grip safety. I like guns with grip safety because if you're not on that, it ain't gonna fire. It's not going to do anything unless you've got that on there. You got the hammer back. Not going to do anything unless you get that grip safety. Boom. And then you're ready to rock and roll. Okay. So the Kimber 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. We're going to head over there and we are going to fire some rounds. A common misconception when people look at these things right here. Some people call them a clip. They're not a clip. They're magazines and they sit right inside the gun. Clips is what you clip onto your belt, clip on your tie. These are not clips. I can't clip this on, that'd be a pretty cool tie, wouldn't you say? Yeah, hey guys, what's up? Check out my new tie. I like it, it's pretty awesome. But no, these are not clips for your ties. These are magazines. Are you ready? Oh, I need my ear protection. Gotta have ear protection. Got the balloons over there. And also, if you can see right there, I have a little metal target. Today's video is in part and thanks to Shoot Straight. Shoot Straight for all your firing and gun and ammo needs. Go see Mike over at Shoot Straight. Go talk to Britt over at Shoot Straight. They'll take good care of you. They'll get you what you need. They'll get the right size gun for you. Whether you're a concealed carrier, whether you like to carry, ladies like to carry the pink, little pink guns, they have those. They have those for you. They have the little pink guns for you ladies out there. They have the revolvers. They have everything from 22s all the way up to the biggest caliber, 50 cal, I think they have. Yeah, they have the Desert Eagles over there. They have the Baby Eagles. They have the CZP-09. Highly recommend that one. Go check them out. Shoot Straight. You can see them at www.shoot-straight.com. Go check them out. 
or you can look at my hat. That's enough right there. <laughs> Here we go. Ear protection on. And I'm gonna try not to talk so loud that I got these things on because I've learned my lesson last time and talking super loud with this thing on. All right, here we magazine. go. Magazine, not clip. Magazine. Timber 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. Let's go for a balloon. I missed the balloon. <laughs> Let's go for a balloon. Yeah, I like it. Woo All right, I'm going to finish this off, but I'm gonna go for that little target right down there. Let's see if you guys can see it. Where are you at? That right there. See if I can hit that. Y'all see that? I gotta reload. It's a shame but somebody's gotta do it. Just wanna pass along a bit of encouragement to you guys today. And as I mentioned in our last video, love your neighbor as yourself. So with that, let's not be impatient. Let's practice patience. All we need is just a little patience. I think I've heard that somewhere before. All we need is just a little patience. That'd be a good song. Somebody should write a song about that. It's really cool. All right, hey, Isaiah 40, 28 says, do you not know, have you not heard, that the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He will not grow weary in his understanding no one can fathom. His understanding is the fact that he's patient with us at all times. And we as a society and as a people who are created in the image of our God and of our creator, we need to practice patience. So the word of encouragement for you today is patience. All right, let's get back. We're loaded. We're loaded. We got two mags. Let's put our ears back on. And we're going to shoot more. I'll try not to yell. Chamber 1911. Chambered in 45 ACP. Round two. Hey guys, thanks for watching Drop It Like It's Scott. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's the Kimber 1911. It's an awesome gun and I really appreciate it. Thanks Mike for allowing me to use your gun to uh, review this week. And uh, hey, stick around. We got some other stuff coming. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys real quick. I have a buddy of mine who is an author and he put out this book. Check it out. This book is called Torn. I'm about halfway through it. And I gotta tell you one thing, this book, oh man, it's good. If you like the Frank Peretti um, style books, you're gonna love this book. Link in the description on how to get this book. Go check it out. James, awesome book. Way to go, man. I hope you succeed. I hope everything goes great with this book. It's an amazing book. Just let me, do, I wanna read you guys the back of it, just kinda of so you get an idea. Torn is the first book in the Torn trilogies. This story is about a young man named Chris Smith who struggles with acceptance in his faith. He feels like an outcast in his church. People make fun of him the way he looks. He doesn't have any friends, and despite he's desperately trying to fit in somewhere, at the most vulnerable time in his life, Chris is introduced to Luciferism. Over the course of the story, the chain reactions of tragedy and chaos affect people who have been a part of his life. The story is filled with suspense, thrilling plots, twists, and unforeseen events. This story will play with your mind and emotions. Torn will leave you guessing what will happen next. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description to it. Go check it out.
hey have a great day enjoy life enjoy the journey it's gonna be awesome until next time